All right, Shalom. First and foremost, Kwahala, Yahweh Bashim, Yahshai Bashim, Rakwa Kadash. The blonde said, Apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom to the Yakim out there on the highways and byways that's noise and that's read abroad. All around the world, through the spirit and the power of our Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahshai. So, here it is. I just came across this article right here. It says, More baby boomers are living alone. One reason why. Great divorce. Yeah. Because it says here, um, more than six, 16 million people of age 65 and over in the U.S. live alone. The number is expected to climb even more as baby boomer ages. You know? The thing is, is because really... Um, there's no really, there's just no order in the society no more. Like, there's just total disorder, you know. Like, the woman, you know, they push that the woman is equal to the man. Or the man is, or the woman is, they put the woman over the man. And things like that. And then you got all these, you know, child support and alimony and all of this shit. You know, so men are just waking up to the fact that it's not worth um, being a, being with a woman in this society, you know. Because, number one, the laws is not really governed in this society that they swear that, that they're keeping. You know, they don't follow the law. That um, This society doesn't follow the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. Because if it, if it did... You know, if the so-called white man did, that he claims to follow, you know, you won't have, be having these issues because everything would be in order. But because the laws are not being followed in this land, this is where you have disorder. You know. <coughs> Salakia. So it reads, Edith um, Hakley didn't expect she'll be 72 years old and living alone. I always thought I'll be married, she says. I was definitely raised to be a wife and never and I never imagined I'll be on my own. Hakley, an artist and part-time park manager in um, Newburyport, Massachusetts, is one of 38 million adults living alone in the United States where they share the single person household has reached a record high according to a census data she also she's also part of a um, population that experts say is likely to climb dramatically in the coming decades you see the number of old Americans living alone in living alone is on the rise. Nearly 16 million people, aged 65 and older, in the United in the U.S. live solo in 2022. Three times as many who live alone in the age groups in the age group in the um, 1960s. And as baby boomers age, that number is expected to grow even more, rising big questions, um, raising big questions about the country's future. Really, there is no future here in America. You know, there, there's just none. You know? There is no future here. Because the Most High, he's stripping this place down. He's breaking this place down. There are many reasons behind this shift in our society, including the economic gains women made when they entered the workforce and the change, and the change in attitudes towards marriage. One factor fueling this rise in numbers are um, seniors in solo households caught experts by 
surprised when they first stumbled upon the trend. A rise in divorce rates are among adults over 50. You see? You know, divorce is at an all-time high. You know, everything is, is, is just... There's just really no future here for America. You know, everywhere you turn around, there's nothing but divorce, 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 you know? You know, every time you turn around, there's the divorce. You know, nobody's staying together. You know, like that saying goes, you know? You're more likely to divorce than rather than staying together, you know? But anyway, let me just get into some scriptures real quick. Because, you know, in a righteous society, you're not going to have this. You know, you're not going to have a rise in divorce rate or women being alone. Um, this is um, Proverbs chapter 29, verse um, 2. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear fruit, the people mourn. And this is what you're having. Because the wicked is in power, the wicked is in authority, you know. The people are mourning. Because really, it's all, you know, this whole marriage thing. It's really designed to benefit the powers that be. It's not designed to benefit the um the couples or the men, you know. You know, the woman takes half the shit, you know, takes the most of the money and everything. And what does she do with the money? You know, the money goes right back into Esau's pockets, you know. All that money that she takes from the man goes right all right back into Esau's pockets and you know. And he so he knows this, you know. This is why he he enables it to happen, you know. Because it's all it's all based upon greed. At the end of the day, greed. Because this devil is nothing but a greedy dog, you know, greedy fat pig, you know. This devil is, you know. Like this devil, he's just a greedy fat pig, you know. And all of this stuff benefits him. It don't benefit the um the couples when they get divorced. So this this shit's all done by by design. Alright, so this is um, Matthew's chapter 24, verse 12. And because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. You see? Because iniquity is abound in the society, the love of many is waxing cold. You know, so there's no love anymore. You know, there's no... There's just no... That, that the love between a man and a woman, you know, going back to the 60s, going back you know, to the late 60s or the 50s, you know, it's, it's just not there no more. You know, the, the, it's not family structured, you know, there's no, you know, there's no promotion of, you know, a man and a wife, you know, being together in a household, you know, like all of that's all done away with, you know, all they're promoting in the society is just being a whole and a thought, you know, and, um, and all this wickedness, you know, tr all this you know, adultery, you know, wickedness, this homosexual movement, all of that. Because, and that's all iniquity, that's all sin. Because, because all of that, because all that stuff abounds, you know, in the society, you know, the love of many is waxing cold. And this is what you're having. <laughs> this is why divorce is at an all time high in the society. You know, single motherhood, you know, at an all-time high. 
single parents. You know, no order, no structure, you know, chaos. You see, th this is what the, the powers that be want. They want chaos and destruction. They want chaos. You know? And the thing is, there is no future here in America because America will be destroyed by a way of thermonuclear fire because of these iniquities. And that's just the bottom line. And, it, and it's just only just going to get worse and worse, you know, <laughs> as time goes on, you know. Because time is really slipping away, you know, because only like four more months left until 2024. So... So just don't expect things to get to get any better. Just just prepare for the worst, you know, because it's gonna get worse. So with that, all praises and glories due to Yahweh, Bashim Yahshai, Bashim Akwa Kadash, Shalom.